Good morning, 47. Your targets are Jack Rowe, a.k.a. Jakob Rowe, the charismatic celebrity chef specializing in new Nordic cuisine, and his partner in crime, Robert Burke, a well-established embalmer. The unlikely duo have been secretly working together in a diabolical scheme that could only come from a gothic novel. They have set up a rather bizarre business where, let's just say, nothing is off the menu. However, our client, a celebrity who wants to remain anonymous, has somehow come across the shocking truth of Mr. Rowe's secret ingredient and managed to connect the two together. Embarrassed and disgusted, they have not been able to go to the authorities as this would most likely lead to further scandal. So, they have turned to us. It's time to put an end to this ghoulish madness. Good luck, 47. Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the Procurers Elusive Target for Year 3. In this video we'll be covering two different methods for this one. We'll be covering the default loadout if you're a new player or if you're not a confident player, you best to stick to method 1. It don't require any kind of specific loadout, um, just your default loadout will do. That's perfectly fine. We'll start on the main road for that one. Method 2 is going to be involving using a syringe and a, the security guard start location. I'm going to be using the medic gas device for that as well. So if you're a more experienced player, you might want to go do method 2. I'll leave the timestamps in the description. For method 1, we're going to start on the main road with a default pistol with the fiber wire and the coin. And that is all we're going to need. From the very start, we're going to skip the opening cutscene, panning shot, and we're going to run right down the road. Get head on through these bushes on the other side, there's going to be a wall. There'll be a gap in the wall, we'll be able to jump over that. Head on towards the mansion. So we've got two targets for this one. And uh, just remember, once you've eliminated one target, you can no longer restart the mission. Unless you hard reset your console, of course. Or if you're on PC, you can alter for. So once we've left up the wall there, we're going to jump over this one. Approach the van, the van in front of you, and jump over these crates right now. Next to this green van, there's going to be a crowbar on these bottles of crates. Grab that crowbar, go in your inventory, take out your coin, and throw a coin just over there. That's just going to distract the two NPCs by the van, and that's going to allow you to jump up this wall and head on inside the house. Now, once you get in the house, it's going to be a trespassing zone, so be careful of that. So I'm going to close the door behind us, take out the crowbar. Knock out that woman with the crowbar, and then close the door behind you. Once you've done that, drag her body and put her in the nearby crate. So we're still in a trespassing zone right now. However, when the target comes through this corridor, he is not an enforcer, so he's not going to get you into any, any trouble. So we're going to wait for him to come through momentarily with his food. I'm going to close the door behind him, and then we're going to use the fireball on him. He drops a packet of cigarettes on the floor. You might want to grab that. That is going to be vital for the second target. So go ahead and grab that after you've hidden the, the uh, target's body. And we're going to exit this area now, stay crouched, jump over this wall, take out our coin, and just throw it over there to, again to distract the two NPCs that's by the van. And that's going to allow you to climb this pipe right here. Climb up this wall. We're now in a still in a trespassing zone, just be caution of that. Now we're gonna get close to this door, the guard's gonna start walking towards the right, and as soon as he gets past the door, we're gonna enter the room. We're gonna stay crouched, head on to the left and outside of the room. And behind this pillar, we're just gonna chuck a coin in the corner just over there. That's gonna distract the guard and the uh, the maid that's in the room. The maid is not an enforcer, so you don't have to worry about her. We're gonna swap the packet of cigarettes. Okay. And I'll head on outside. Now the glass is not see-through, apart from the uh, the door itself. So what we're going to do is use that to our advantage and shoot the uh, gas canister. Once you've done that, it might distract the maid. That's that's just coming over. But again, she's not in the force, so don't need to worry about that. And if this shortcut isn't open for you, you can use the crowbar on it to break it open as long as that NPC is not looking at you. So once you've done that, you've set up the second target's kill. So what's going to happen is Robert Burke's going to come into that room, see a fresh packet of cigarettes, and he's going to go outside and smoke a cigarette. And because we sabotage that gas canister, or the, the gas lamp, it's going to obviously explode, and that's going to take out our target for us for an accident kill. 
Now you'll see the body flying through the air, but you don't have to worry about the body being found because even if it is, it's an accident kill. And uh, if you're a new player to the game, accident kills and poison kills can have bodies found and you can still get your silent assassin rating. So once we're at this point, we're just waiting for the target to, you know, set off the target, set off the trigger. I'm going to skip to that point because obviously it involves a body waiting around. Eliminated. Find Excellent elimination, if I do say so myself. At this point, all we've got to do is wait, make sure that this guard is looking the other way, or wait for him to walk away, and then we're going to he head to the exit right here for a silent assassin. Now, for method two, we have to make sure that you have the shortcut to that balcony unlocked with the ladder. You need to make sure that's unlocked, otherwise this is not going to work. So you might want to unlock that first before you do this. We're going to start in the staff room, bring along any suppressed pistol, any lethal syringe, and a medic gas device. From the start, we're going to skip the opening cutscene panning shot and exit the blend spot, immediately crouch and then head around these, uh, this, this table because there's an enforcer right next to you so we have to avoid his line of sight. Next thing we do is bump into the target and place the gas device on the floor and immediately trigger it. So to place it, we use the L1 and R1 button on the PlayStation with the triangle to place it and then we use the LB or RB and then Y on Xbox controller if you're using that. So we're going to run past this enforcer once we've done that. We grabbed the wrench, but that's not necessary. I just grabbed it anyway. So the shortcut I was talking to and referring to earlier was this one. But if you're following this particular method, you should have this unlocked anyway. If you don't have this shortcut unlocked, I'll leave a link to the description on how to unlock this. Once you're up here, though, we're going to stay crouched around this area, and we're going to use this little chandelier or plant pot thing to drop on the target's head. The target will be right there, As soon as he walks underneath it, use your instinct to your advantage, we're going to shoot it. Target down. It's and there we go. Once we've done that, we're going to stay crouched and then slide back down the ladder, and then catch up to our first target. So the first target should be in the bathroom, puking up in the, in the toilet. So we're going to pass back through here. Just be careful of this woman right here. She's an enforcer still. Once you enter this area, we're now in a trespassing zone, so be careful. We're going to take out our syringe, use it on our target, and now we can exit. You can use any any exit you like. Uh, just make sure that you, you are taking a safe route out, though. And we're just going to go back the way we came. And take this exit over here. It's nice and easy. It's nice and quick. It's the first time we, me do actually doing this method. I had to come up with this one because uh, the, the method which involves using three seeker uh, darts don't work anymore because they've silently patched the uh, bringing two dart guns to give you a third dart. I don't know why they've done that. They have to ruin our fun, but uh, that's why I've had to come up with a second technique, which I think is overall a lot faster and a lot better, I think. Let me know what you think. So let me know which, which method you've actually chosen as well. Both of these will achieve you a silent assassin rating, and both of them are really easy. So anyone could be doing this, as long as you've got the right equipment and as long as you know what you're doing. So there we go. Silent assassin for both methods for the Procurers. So thank you, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on, in the video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And then uh, click the bell icon and click for all notifications you want to, if you want to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even become a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And a big shout out to all my Psycho Assassin members as well. That includes Agent 47, the man himself, Paul Yakubowski, Paul Walker, Kyle Moon, Wandering Wendy, Constantine Mueller and Paul at home. All becoming Psycho Assassin members of the channel, which is the top tier. I really do appreciate all the support. Thank you very much. And I shall see you in the next video or the next live stream. Take it easy. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.